Welcome again to Fadi Spoor here from uh, Safari and Outdoor in Linwood. Um, nice to be back, man. I always enjoy this. Yes, always so, fun, man. Yeah, and it's and it's nice doing it, you know, in store. Yeah. So uh, it, it, every week will be something different, you know, depending Definitely. on what topic we choose or whatever. And how we'll nice is it sitting here in the fishing shop? And yeah, and, and sitting with uh, with with Sunei. Sunei. Yes, Nay, thank you so much oh, for coming. Thanks, guys. So Nay, just quickly introduce yourself. Obviously, we're sitting here in the safari fishing section or department or whatever you want to call it but just please introduce yourself and and then a little bit of background i mean you've been in this game yeah, for no. a quite a number of years eh? yeah no definitely grew up on Simokpan on a hunting farm so been outdoors my whole life went to university of the university corporate and then i met my husband afterwards we've been married for about six months then that's we decided now, eh? that's yeah. Arnie, yes. yeah. And he's also, he's also, I mean, he's, he's also based of this No, thing. he's an a addict. Yeah. He's definitely I know a, he a fishing addict. I know he is. Um, so, yeah, I met him. We decided we don't want to sit in office all lives. And we opened a fishing shop. And, for and that, that was here in Pretoria as well? In Pretoria. Um, actually, very close from here. Yeah. And then a few years later, we joined the Safari Outdoor Group. And, the, and, and, and I mean, that's where we're sitting tonight. We're sitting mm. in the Safari Fishing. Just tell us, a, in short, where did it start? Where did the idea start maybe? And, and how long has the shop been, been open for? Well, hunting and fishing, you know, it's, it goes so well together. And yeah, we, we actually talked to them a few, uh, for a few months. And then we decided, you know, one thing that's short in hunting is obviously fishing. For every fish, every hunter goes on fishing trips as well. And then we started planning and we opened last year in October. And I think what a success, Stefan. You know, it's uh, talking about the, the retailer and uh, the hunting side. It's so nice having the shop here, you know, mm. it's a new dimension for us. It's a completely new dimension. And uh, the LSM of the clients the same, you yeah. know, the same client comes in. Yeah, so they mentioned yeah. it and I want to ask, I want to ask it as well is, I mean, this has been a hunting store. It's still, a, it's still the biggest hunting store, I think, in the Southern Hemisphere. But I mean, this is a, this is a store that focuses on hunting mm. and providing a client with an with a, with a experience here mm. yeah, and then setting him up for his experience wherever he goes in the hunting world. But I mean, mm -hmm. this has to complement each other. And how, how do you guys experience it in the shop? Do you, do you Yo, no, experience it on a daily basis? We get a lot of hunters and farmers just walking by and like, oh, what, the fishing shop, so amazing. Now I can go on my hunting trip, take my rod and reel and catch mm. a few bass, tigers, if you're up in Africa. And, and, it's, a, and it's, a family, it's a family experience. Oh, yeah. so. Fishing is a big family experience. I it's think not so, and it, and it fits in, it fits in like a hand in a glove. Yeah. You know, it just works. It really works. So it's, for us, it's a privilege having them here. And uh, so I they, think in the store, there is, is I mean, fishing is as wide as from east to west. What, what do you guys focus on here? I mean, is it only one kind of fishing? I see. We, I mean, we see all the hats and the caps and the clothes and the shoes and the glasses and everything. I mean, <laughs> you guys are you 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 rig out any type of fisherman. Everything, with, everything. If you want to take a little boy to some kerper fishing in in you're in town or to the farm or if you want to go with the boys to mine some gt popping and jigging we do everything so and i see you got some nice fly fishing stuff yeah here some well. nice flies fishing we actually have a very extended range of fly tying equipment mm. as well and materials um we have some very nice bass stuff we have the newest guggen baits that's on the market we have we have some jigging popping rock and surf we have trolling tiger fishing up in africa she knows so. more than us no. You know, it's definitely <laughs> yep. way, way, way more than... than, than so, than no, we definitely have everything. <laughs> Please come and pop into safari fishing. And, and what, I mean, you've, you've named now quite a few, I don't know what you call it, types of, of fishings or means of or ways of fishing yes. or whatever. Um, wh what is your favorite? Your personal oh, favorite? Oh, that's so difficult to say. Um, I'm very keen on fly fishing. Okay. But you, I only caught one GT in my life and I thought it was like an 80 kilogram GT and I was fighting and fighting it and then when it came out it was like this big. <laughs> so I must say um, deep sea jigging popping is my favorite. Okay. Stefan, what's your favorite kind of fishing? Yes, Anka, I'm, I mean, uh, I, I grew up no in Swaizerenik and, and all we had was barbers and carps in the Swaizerenik most, of, no, and most of that you shot. Yeah, no, yeah. And, and if you wanted to treat yourself, you went to Bloomhof Dam and then, <laughs> then you caught some big barbers. I mean, that was, that was me growing up. And then just after university, um, I, I teamed up with, with my uncle and uh, I worked for him for a couple of years uh, during, during the holidays, the university holidays. And they stay in KwaZulu-Natal and there's some great mm. bass fishing. I mean, if you oh, talk yeah. the, the likes of Inanda Dam, Shongweni Dam, 
uh, mm. Albert Falls. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's some, and, and there I got introduced to bass fishing. Mm. And then I was converted from the little dirty worm piece mm. and all that, you know, back, back to plastic, uh, plastic baits, but, clean type of fishing, I like that. But tell me from your side now, I mean, we know you as the avid hunter and always focusing on that. You got a couple of fishing expeditions planned for this year. Yeah, we did one, like we mentioned last week, we did, we did the tiger one, fish, uh, yeah. uh, the tiger fish, that, that's always a, a nice trip, okay. I mean, because it, nice. you have to go to a remote location somewhere in southern Africa to catch a tiger fish, yeah, you, know, no. you just can't you experience all Africa, pop into so any nice. dam and do it, so that's, that, that we did. Uh, we lined up uh, an offshore deep sea fishing adventure in Vilankulus, uh, that's going to be at the end of May. That's in Mozambique, huh? That's in Mozambique, that, yeah. um, it's going to be me and Marco and Willem. Oh. Uh, heading, heading off there, so I know nothing about that. Is that Mozambique or Mozambique? Yeah, Mozambique. It's where, Mozambique. Where they, where, they, where they sell the Deutsche okay. Mbiers. But uh, yeah, so that's the one. Then, the, then we have another one planned, Anka. Yes, we mentioned we it last week quickly. Yeah. Why don't you tell us about it? Oh, we, we're planning to do a backpack hunt maybe up there in, in the high field of South Africa in Dahlstrom. Yeah. And, uh, you know, combine a little bit of a backpack hunt in the winter when it's really cold. Yeah. Nice and fun. With a with a fellow deer and maybe some 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 trout, uh, do uh, some fly fishing, fly. small rods, carry everything worth another, you know, like a small survival kind of thing, and, yeah. and just having fun. Another learning curve for me. I know nothing about fly fishing, so I did well, it once on a rugby field, and I, and I and I could get it. I'm sure she can teach. You're gonna love it. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. no space here, so we're gonna have to go and <laughs> test it somewhere. Right there. <laughs> and then the last the last thing that we're planning for this year is, um, I mean, bass fishing. Yeah. is just absolutely, I mean, if you look it at the States. It must be the biggest. If you look it at the it States, it's the biggest. It's, it's, it's the definitely biggest, yeah. the biggest. Yeah, and I think in South Africa as well. I think yeah. I think um, it grew over the last two mm. decades to, you know, with it, 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 these guys that put their whole life into yeah, it. I yeah. mean, if you mm. look at the likes of guys like Ing Jordan and those, I mean, there's a no, lot of guys here that money, they yeah. live for that. And we have we have some cool dams like we just mentioned in uh, in, in Natal. Uh, we stumbled yeah. across uh, a dam on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, near Klein William, am yes, I right? Yes, yes, What's yes. that thing called? The Cla Winter Bass Klein Festival? William, yeah. Winter yeah. Bass Festival. So, I mean, she didn't even know where Klein William was. Yeah. I didn't know there was this water in Klein William. Small town. Yeah, no, it's in the West Coast. So, so, they have an annual bass competition mm. that's quite big. So, wh why are we not invited? No, no, no. We, we're going we're gonna to invite ourselves. No, we're <laughs> <gonna> <laughs> Which is a good idea. Yeah, and then so, so it can range from anything from there up to. Let's see, Bogo, Let's see, Bogo, I mean, that's the prime spot in yeah, Africa no. for, for, mm. for bass fishing. Definitely. So, that's so the, no, that's th a trip to do. Yeah, that's definitely a trip to do. Anke, thank you. So, no, thanks. No, thank thanks for having us thanks here so in, the, in the, the safari Anke. fishing thank store. Thank you so and, uh, much. We're going to be visiting you a couple of times during yes, the year. Please. And uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next, year, next week back here in Safari Outdoor. Cheers.